Welcome to Reread. Today I'm reading Barbara Hamley's Planet of Twilight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There is so much. I, I have all these notes about what is going on, okay? Well, now I'll give my final thoughts. First off, there's something called, it's supposed to be a drug, giggle dust. That's nice. That's nice. There's giggle dust. Um, Luke basically gets a message from, um, uh, who is it? Callista. And she's on Nam uh, Cor Corius, and so he has to go there. This is the planet with the spook crystals. That's what they call the spook crystals that have some something to do with the force. They amplify the force and cause a storm on the planet. And this is why Luke can't use the force that much. Even though I noticed later on, someone pulls a pistol at him and he uses the force to grab it, but no force storm happens. But remember, Luke was saying earlier in the book that you know he can't be. He's got to be careful, or he may cause a force storm that may hurt people. It was the, the Luke problem that it looks like only Barbara Hamley had. So far, it looks like only Barbara Hamley had this problem. So, because Luke is so powerful, she had to find some way to limit his ability. Or maybe she didn't want Luke using the Force that much in, in the first place. I don't know, but it, it, it is kind of cheesy. By the way, Luke is flying a B-Wing to get there. What happened to his X-Wing? I guess she thought, hmm, what's a nice... Oh, I like that vehicle. What's it called? A B-Wing? Okay, he's flying his B-Wing into the... He, he flies an X-Wing. Barbara, what, what are you doing here? Um, Leia gets kidnapped, and it's so poorly written, you don't know what is going on. 3PO the whole time is screaming, help, help, she's being kidnapped. And I, why isn't he stopping them? Does he have a restraining belt on? I read the thing twice. I still don't know. But they're picking her up and carrying her away. What is Leia doing at this point? Is she? Un, I, she I think she is unconscious, but... 3 people just keeps screaming, help, help, they're kidnapping the princess, please, somebody help. He walks outside to the guards. Where is he in this storyline? Is he looking at this from afar? Is he in the room? I, I, don't, I don't understand. Why aren't they tipping him over or something or shutting him off? I, nothing makes sense but that Leia gets kidnapped. So she's going to get kidnapped by Dism and um, uh, the Hut, Bel, Bel Dorian or whatever, and all them, where she's going to be uncovering the secret there's a Death Seed Plague and all this stuff, and I guess she's the main character because no one else has a story arc but her, kind of, kind of. I'll get to that later. Um, I will give her credit for this. The E-Wing is mentioned. Again, besides Kevin Janderson and Barbara Hamley, no one else talks about E-Wings. They were supposed to be the wave of the future, you know, replacing the X-Wing uh, in Dark Empire, but now, nah, no one wants to talk about an E-Wing. But she did, so kudos to her. Uh, 3PO has a comment in here that says he doesn't, you know, when a human dies, he doesn't understand why they can't just burn them or jettison them out or have them eaten among the other humans in case of an emergency. What? what? Are you contemplating cannibalism with humans? Like, why don't they just eat them? In, in, in cases of emergency, you know, why don't you just save the body or why can't they just do? What's so bad about jettisoning them out into space or burning them alive? Some dark thoughts by 3PO. Uh, Mon Mothma is drinking hot cocoa. Hot cocoa is still... I, I had no idea. I cannot believe I've forgotten about this. Hot cocoa is in a lot of the books. I guess when Timothy Zong did hot cocoa, which I don't know how I've forgotten about this, it is in almost every novel, I think, right now. So, yeah, but she's drinking hot cocoa. So, good, good for her. It's uh, hot chocolate, man. Lando introduced that drink to everyone. And what if it's not hot chocolate? Oh, Lando, you cad, you. Luke comes across a crazy woman named Tesselda, uh, who almost tricks Luke into thinking that she knows Callista and she's going to help him. And then he realizes that it's just all a lie. And she has some power over the Force. Maybe We don't know if she's lying or not, because it's, it's so confusing. But she used to be a Jedi. She's not anymore. I think that's true, though. But she's full of lies, is what we're told. And so it may not be true. But anyway, Luke says... He cannot believe he almost fell for that weird woman who is eating drops out of her arm and staring at him in the shadows. And you're like, wait, wait, what? Because Luke had already left her at this point. And you're like, wait, so what, what point of view are we going? And the book does this a lot. It changes point of view mid-paragraph. In the middle of a paragraph, you'll be talking about something. I, I can't remember what it was, but someone was looking at the captain on the board, on board the ship, and wondering, you know, the captain, he watched as the captain strode by. Come, uh, captain, and the captain nodded, and then turned to the helmsman and said, Mark three, we're going to go out to the... Whoa, 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 we just switched point of views in the middle of a sentence. What the heck? What the heck? I, I don't, it is so weird. The writing is so weird here. Um, this is one of my favorite quotes in it. 
I've got a festering jizz box right over there in that corner. TMI, dude. TMI. There are also weird things like, and I guess, I don't know if these are like prostitutes, but Joy Boys and Lolly Girls. Oh yeah, they're prostitutes. Never mind. They got to be with those names. But it's just so weird. Where, 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 where is Barbara Hamley coming from when she talks about this? Uh, Callista appears in the last 80, or she appears for the first time in the last 80 pages of the book, and she's not a main character. Like, she and Luke never even meet. So what was the point? Luke's trying to meet her. Is that the whole thing? They never have a conversation. They kind of wave at each other from a distance as she goes away. And she helps train Leia in lightsaber battles, which I guess helps her defeat the Hut later on. But there's no point. There's no and and Callista knows what all is going on. She knows the Drox carry the Death Sea place. She knows that Dism oh, is a mutated, you know, 250 year old Drock who's been keeping uh, Seti Ashgod and. Uh, Bel Beldorian and everyone alive for the past 50 or so years and they're kind of enslaved to him now because he kind of sucks in their life and or he sucks out life from Drox and puts them in it's really weird puts them into their bodies to help them live longer but at the same time they become servants of Dism like I said the whole thing uh, Meg from Meg Reviews I was talking to her about this and she defined it perfectly she said this is Barbara Hamley's fever dream and you're right I mean uh, but the editor had to have had it too because how does an editor let some of this writing go it's just really weird uh, Luke uh, th no, here's here's another one so Le Legis, Legis who's you know in the castle with Dism and everyone he's kind of he's trying to be the good guy and trying to protect Leia telling her to stay in the sun because Drox can't get you in the sun and she's he's telling Dism to stay away from Leia because Dism of course wants to make you know her one of his slaves or whatever or mindless slaves or whatnot and she, he he can make a lot of good fake holos he's a fake holo maker or whatever even I can even make fake holos of your kids and your husband if you want me to he's trying to be helpful but here's here's Leia says she realized he had offended her. She realized he had offended her. That is an actual sentence. It, it, you're like, wait, what is going on? Another sentence. Luke goes, in for two creds, so let's rob a bank. What? And it wasn't even robbing a bank. It was, it was talking about just, you know, going ahead with a plan or something. So weird. So weird. Um, 3PO, uh, when he's speaking Bith, Bith is much easier. Bith is just a, a bunch of numbers. 79, 29, 44. It, I think that's what they're saying, because he just says, he, he translates, he's trying to get sent out distress calls in all these languages, but he finds he really likes Bith. And he's just l r saying off English numbers. That's Bith? I, I, again, wow, so weird. Um, Dala, Dala I, 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 after, I knew Dala was in it, but I'd totally forgotten because this is a fever dream you're walking through. The last 25 pages, Dala appears for one chapter. And then in the last two, page, the last two pages, she comes back. Legia, she sees Legis. That was her old beau from when? When they were kids? Because she says, remember in Kevin J. Anderson's trilogy, she met Dala. She enrolled into the military, so I'm, I'm assuming 18. And she was very young, and Tarkin took a shining to her. Okay, so this is pre-18. I guess. And she still has the hots for Lee just so many years later. Uh, I, I guess. But then they get, they just walk off because she's basically given up. We found out in the one chapter she's in, she's, you know, ceded power over to Pelion and she thinks she's a failure. So she's just kind of wandering aimlessly through life. It doesn't feel like Dollar, but she could be having a downtime after losing a superstar story. That will do it to you. But she just meets Lisa. Oh, my, uh, my old true, my old flame. Maybe we'll live together. And you're like, wait, what? It's almost like Kevin Jansen said, hey, you can give Dala an ending if you want to. And Barbara Hammer was like, I don't really want to do that. But since you're my friend, you asked, okay. And like Dala's barely in it. But what's the point of having, what's the point of anyone being in this story? This is so, it's so, so weird. Um, the, the book ends with Luke going, I'm all right. Y yeah, but you aren't, reader. You aren't. This is, Insane. Oh, I should mention that Leia, when she defeats uh, Beldorian the Hut, it's she, she uh, as she defeats him, she looks over and Luke salutes her, gets in his Z95 and shoots off to the sky. Just from that little sentence, same paragraph, it switches to Luke's point of view. Luke zoomed across it. Luke broke the atmosphere and into the battle in space. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where was Luke during the battle? Was he right there? 
watching Leia take on the hut by herself? Because like when she defeats him and he it says he deflates like a balloon after she defeats him, she looks over at she looks over and Luke goes, yeah, like salutes her and then jumps into the Z95. It's like when you read a book and you're dreaming where it doesn't make sense, that is exactly how this book is written. Now, is it the worst thing in the world? No, it's not the worst book. It's not the worst book. It's the most, it's the po most poorly written one, though. I, mm, yeah, yeah, even, even from Dawn of the Jedi, this is the most poorly written one. You're just so astonished by how bad this is written and how an editor did not even catch all this. Because the whole time you're reading, you're like, what is going on? Like every couple of chapters, you're like, I don't even know what they're talking about here. What, whose point of view are we looking at now? Really, really weird. And it's almost like you can experience it, but uh, maybe out of the Bantam era, this could be the way. I haven't gotten to Crystal Star yet, but oh my goodness, this is, this is the weirdest of all, of them all. And yeah, it, it could be a contender for a top 10, but the whole time I wasn't, well, I was kind of frustrated because I couldn't understand certain things, but the whole time I was thinking, what's the point? What's the point? Maybe it is one of the top 10 worst. I don't know, but it's bad. It's bad, but it's, it's almost like a, a wreck. You, you know it's bad, but you want to look anyway. That's exactly what Planet of Twilight is. A fever dream. All right, folks, that's it for now. See you next time.